Hey everyone, Lightning here, and welcome to the start of a brand new project. Something a little spooky for this wonderfully spooky time of year. This is Luigi's Mansion for the Nintendo 3DS. Though, if you're playing along with me, uh, the GameCube version is also just fine. The reason that I decided to do the 3DS version is just, eh, it was a little bit easier to get my hands on. Um, but... All that being said, <laughs> there's really not that huge of a difference, other than, I mean, you know, a bottom screen. Which, speaking of, uh, you've probably noticed by now that this is a 3DS version, but this is, like, there is no bottom screen. So what the heck's up with that? Unfortunately, a few years ago, this 3DS capture card had an accident, and, well, the bottom screen no longer records. And... Good luck trying to fix your capture card in the year 2019, or buying a replacement 3DS capture card in 2019, or doing anything related to the Nintendo 3DS capture cards in 2019. So unfortunately, you're just gonna have to bear with me here. Uh, we don't have a bottom screen, but really all you're missing is a map. All the fun stuff is on the top screen. So, but enough of the rambling, let's actually jump into this and have some fun. Boy, it sure was nice for the princess to invite us over for lunch, wasn't it, Mario? Oh, wait, there's no Mario. And that doesn't look like a fun time for lunch. Turn back, turn back! And here we are, inside of a very old, very creepy mansion. Now, of course, the first thing to do is take a little look around. Walk around a little bit with your flashlight, turn it on and off, get used to your controls. It's a very nice chandelier up there, I must say. But, maybe we can get through the door. Or, it could be completely locked. Well, good thing I saw two doors. Let's try the other one. Hmm. Suspicious noises. Well then. That's... not normal. I'd go as far to even say that that's a little paranormal. Huh. The 90s Nickelodeon logo just fades through a door and left us a key. this key, why don't we see where we can go? Unfortunately, this is still locked, so let's try the upstairs. Oh, Mr. Nickelodeon Ghost, are you in here? I love the style of those doorknobs. You don't see doorknobs like that anymore. Those old-fashioned, like, very detailed doorknobs. You also don't see a lot of, like, the glass ones anymore, either. I don't know. Oh, it's the Nickelodeon spook. Turns out it was actually a fighting type. Dang, that thing just punched him right in the jaw. Ouch! Oof. I sure take a lot of knocks in this line of work. I'm getting too old for this ghost-catching tomfoolery. 
Anyway, nice to meet you. I'm Professor E. Gad. This house, I swear to have more ghosts every day. What's a young feller like you doing around here, anywho? Well, you see, my brother was supposed to meet me here, and then the princess was gonna invite us for lunch, and now there's all these Nickelodeon ghosts, and this looks ugly, and we should probably leave. Also, there were a bunch of ravens outside that told me to turn back. It reminded me of an old Teen Titans episode. So, your name's Luigi. I think our paths were destined to cross. Well met, Luigi. Hmm, and where is this, you ask? Why, these cozy quarters are where I do my ghost studying. Professor Egad's Ghost Research Laboratory. The lab, if you're short, if you're of a <laughs> shortening mind. You won this mansion in a contest, you didn't even enter? That sounds rather fishy to me. So you believe the mansion actually exists then? Strange, well, yeah, we were walking inside of it. I've been living here since I was a lad of 20 or so, and I'll tell you that mansion just appeared here a few days ago. The spirits have fooled you. I don't know if it's a dream, an illusion, or what all, but I surely won't be too happy winning, <laughs> wouldn't be too happy winning a haunted house. Now that I get a look at you, I just recalled a guy with a red kind of hat like, or a red hat kind of like yours. He went up into the mansion without even stopping to chat, and he never returned. I wonder if he was a dream as well. Hmm? Oh, that guy was your brother? Oh no, that's horrible. He wouldn't stand a chance against those ghosts without my, without my help. That, that was a really awkward uh, text cutoff. You have to go after him. Here's the plan. I'll teach you the deal, or I'll teach you how to deal with the ghosts so you can rescue your brother. Oh yeah, Ouija time. Alright, so here you can select your movement style. Uh, sidestep the circle pad will control sidesteps, and Luigi will walk facing in one direction. Luigi will walk facing the direction that you slide the circle pad towards. This is generally what I prefer. Um, but honestly, just kind of pick your poison. And then, of course, you have the original... And the straw bulb. Uh, the straw bulb does emit a powerful ghost catching light charge up to increase the area of effect. This is basically from Luigi's Mansion 2, I do believe, Dark Moon. Um, but for the sake of basically staying faithful to the original, I think we're gonna go with that. That's the vacuum cleaner I engineered to catch ghosts. I call it, and now this is genius. The Poltergust 3000. <sighs> the puns begin already. I come back to Let's Playing after how many years and the puns begin already. It can suck up all kinds of things. Let her rip. All kinds of things. Huh? No. <laughs> use, <laughs> use R to vacuum and motion controls to change your direction. Alright. So using the 3DS gyroscope... We can move our vacuum around and fight the ghosts. No matter how strong you think your brother is, ghosts are mysterious beings and they can't be caught using conventional means. So you'd better use this. It's the only way to foil them. This is the only thing they ever fear. Or something to that effect. <clears throat> well, uh, how about we start your training? Ghosts seem to like darkness and they avoid the lights. So if you hit them with a flashlight beam all of a sudden, you can stun them momentarily and then it's vacuuming time! When you see the chance, hold on R and slide the controller in the opposite direction. Just give it a try, you'll learn more that way than just listen to me yap about it. Boy, I need more Nintendo games to listen to that philosophy. Oh, <laughs> whoops, I didn't realize that that was gonna start so soon. Anyway. There we go, we got a ghost, so if you don't, if you didn't really understand what I was doing there, basically you went to turn off your flashlight by holding down A, wait for a ghost to get close and appear, and then let go of A, the light will stun the ghost and then start sucking it up. Just make sure that your vacuum is pointed towards the ghost, otherwise you'll lose your opportunity. Well done, Luigi. While vacuuming, 
Hold B to use the circle pad as you turn your vacuum. There we go. Surprise them with the light when they get close. Zing pow, right in the opposite direction. Got it? There we go. Ghosts won't always show up alone, but the basics are the same. Now get ready for two ghosts. Ooh, swoopy. This one is, whoops. I say that one's gonna fall immediately into the light, but uh. Okay, I get two or more. I know, I screwed up. I actually can get two of them at the same time, so let me see if I can. No, couldn't pull that off. But I can get two of them! Kinda hoping that's what the game wants, although it might actually want two at a time. Alright, now. Well, well done, Luigi. Don't let your guard down, though. There are more coming. But yeah, you actually can capture multiple ghosts at one time if they're in a light beam like that! Oh, man. That was perfect, actually. <laughs> I mean, we didn't get the other one, but I mean, that was pretty darn close to perfect. We got four at the same time. Catching ghosts means using the flashlight and the Poltergeist 3000 as a team. So yeah, pretty standard control. It takes a little bit of getting used to, especially if you did play a lot of the GameCube version growing up. But, it's a pretty decent control scheme in my opinion. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I'm alright with it. Anyway, now that we've learned everything that we can here... Why don't we get this adventure started here? But first we're gonna come to the gallery. <laughs> I was thinking this was later. Welcome to the gallery. I had 25 paintings once upon a time. My famous ghost collection was complete. But now only the, fl f the flames? Only the frames remain. It's a shame, a tragedy. By the way, Luigi, I have a favor to ask. You see that Game Boy Horror you have in your hand? It has lots of features to help you explore the mansion. For example, you can view the map on the screen, uh, which you can't see, I am so sorry. <laughs> To blame this broken 3DS. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, if you look at the bottom screen, you can see a map of the gallery, and you can also see 8 bit Luigi, which is pretty neat. Mm. And you're probably wondering what are all the frames for? Well, we'll get to that eventually. But for now, they're going to have to remain empty because, well, it's just a regular old frame. Alright, so I think we've done enough exploring of this place. Actually, no, we haven't been over here yet. We haven't been through this door. Oh, this actually is a painting. Hang on, what's this? Uh, just a bunch of spots, I guess. And what is this? Uh, okay, I know exactly what these are. Alright, we'll get to those later. But for now, that's all the gallery has to offer. A bunch of empty paintings. Uh... And two paintings that we can't really do anything with right now. And yeah, that's about it. Oh. Yeah, I guess I probably should have got the part while I was back there, huh? <sighs> Give me one second. Alright, well, wouldn't be an old-fashioned let's play without a jump cut here and there. Got a part of the Game Boy Horror, and it looks somewhat familiar. Alright, let's see what we get. Alrighty, Gad, what you got for me? Ah, that part is exactly what I was looking for. Let me just get it attached. Good old Game Boy. Excellent! The search function has been added to the Game Boy Horror. Thanks for going to all that trouble. You should try out the search function in the gal- er, in the galaxy? In the galaxy! Press Y. 
but why would I do that? Alright, yep, I think we are done for today, at least in the gallery, that is. I kind of want to go check out that, uh, that mansion, now that I actually have a way to fight back against the ghosts. Whoop. But first, a word from our sponsors? What in the world is happening? Now this is an event that's exclusive to the 3DS version. Whew! It's finally connected. Pardon? Hmm? Why do you look so surprised? There are two of me? Hmm, hello, I'm future Professor Egad. I'd like you guys to do something for me. I'm calling you from the future! Woo! Hmm, <laughs> Luigi, my boy, don't look so surprised. random blinding light from the future? Allow me to introduce this green doppelganger. I call him Gooigi. The puns will never stop. I create him in your likeness. He's also skilled with the poultry gust, just like you. However, if I'm being honest, he still needs a little bit of testing. Which is why I'm talking to you. I'm outsourcing testing for Guiji to you and past me. Isn't time travel great? If you could help me with this test... How about you take Guiji with you and do some exploring? Take good care of Guiji. He burns and melts really easily. Ah, uh, then maybe you shouldn't have sent your only one to the past. Even if he's defeated, he can revive as many times as he wants. Never mind, I stand corrected. Take good care of Guiji! So if you're wondering what the heck that was all about, uh, that's Egad from the sequel! Guiji's Mansion Dark Moon. And, uh, Guiji was, um, I believe a multiplayer aspect of that game. And it is no different in this game, it is indeed a multiplayer aspect for this one as well. Me from the future calling me out of the blue? I didn't expect that. It is quite an invention. I'd expect nothing less from future me. And future me has asked for our help, then we have to oblige. Luigi, my boy, when you want to take Luigi along to the mansion, all you have to do is select play co-op. Well, unfortunately, I don't have anybody to play co-op with, so... Sorry, Luigi, you're gonna have to stay on the sidelines, but... You look like a really fun mechanic in Luigi's Mansion 3. Oh well. And speaking of Dark Moon, probably shortly after this video goes live, I will be streaming Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon in preparation for Luigi's Mansion 3 over on my Twitch channel. In fact, I might even be live when you're watching this. So after this video, why not go on and uh, stop by? Say hi to future me for me. Dora uh, past me says hey. Anyway. With all the preamble out of the way and the tutorials finished, we can finally check out that mansion. Spoopy. Well, this is different. <laughs> Where did you go, Mario? It's Luigi. Oh wow, it's Luigi! You finally made it. Oh joy! Thank goodness. What? Uh, me? Well, Princess Peach asked me to come here for lunch. I, I mean, come here to look for Mario. He left when he heard that you'd won a mansion, and then he never returned. And then I arrived here, and the mansion was full of ghosts, and I didn't see Mario anywhere, and I kind of freaked out a little, and I don't know what to do, it's been awful! <laughs> Please, you have to help me find Mario. If he doesn't get back, you have no idea how upset the princess will be, she's gonna flip! I don't get paid enough for this. Uh, leave it to me, little guy. <laughs> Thanks, Luigi, you made my dark and stormy night. 
Well, that solved his nervous breakdown. I wish I could. I wish I could do something to help you. Oh wait, I've got it. At least let me do this. And this is where you can save your game. So anytime you need to save, come talk to Toad. Anyway. Why don't we head back to where we were ambushed by the Nickelodeon splat ghost things. And see if we can't, uh, you know, even the score here. Now you got coins on the floor. So we'll get our money, and you might be wondering, what does the money do? Well, the money, basically, is your score for this game. Um, higher the score, the better the ending you get, although really it's the same ending. Um, but you do get something a little neat at the end. I don't know if I'll be getting a perfect score. Um, I'm not extremely well versed in this game. Like, I'm not extremely, like, good. I mean, I've played this game, I've 100%ed it before. I don't know if I've ever actually, like, gotten the best ending. <laughs> but I guess we can try. Anyway, there doesn't seem to be much in here upon first inspection. However, we have a vacuum. And that can suck up air, and without air, these little suspicious purple candles suddenly go out. Who put out my candles, you, Mr. Lime Green? Well, dark rooms are dangerous around here, yes. And they love the dark now. They will get you too. Blah. You're in for it. Just like that red-capped fellow before you. May you wander lost in the darkness forever. I don't know why I went all country with this guy. Are you afraid of the dark, little man? Here they are now. Oh, that's not good. Alright, time to fight. Come here. Now, there's one more in here. And there he is. Come on, little guy. Come get me! Not today, I will not be your next victim. And boop! And just like that, the room is clear. Ooh, and we get a piece of treasure. Now this is obviously a heart to refill our life container if we got hit at all during that fight by the ghosts. Uh, we would have needed that, but fortunately, I am a, a godly gamer and didn't <laughs> take any damage. I'm joking, of course. Now, if, when you look at your bottom screen, you'll see that the key uh, basically makes one of the doors glow, and that is the key uh, to the corresponding door. Basically, it's the map's way of telling you, hey, go here. So, this is the door that's glowing on my map. So let's head on inside. That's the unfortunate thing about not having a bottom screen for this. I can't exactly show you the map and whatnot, but really, I mean, it's not that important unless you're playing the game. And if you're playing along with me, then I assume that you have a 3DS that, you know, has a bottom screen. So, oh, we got another spookum spookum. Got him! Anybody else? I'm on a winning streak. Come on. Ooh, this guy's pink. He has a lot more health than his other friends. And by a lot, I mean double, which isn't really that much. I mean 20. Oh my gosh, that's actually terrifying, that music in the background. Got them both. And suck them up. Now, I like how Luigi just plays, or hums along to the theme of the mansion. But I also like that if a room has ghosts in it, they also kind of hum along to the theme of the mansion. Which makes it sound super freaky. But all in all, it's pretty cool. Now, you can use the X button and uh, tap on various pieces of furniture to get money and prizes and hearts and sometimes something you're not really expecting. Although, we'll worry about that a little bit later on. Now then. We got another spook! Alright, where are you? Ooh, this guy's green and big. Now the green guy, he's gonna throw banana peels on the ground, which we can suck up 
with the poultry gust, but if we slip on him, we take some damage and lose a little bit of our money. So this guy's kind of annoying, and he's got 40 HP, double the health of the little pink ghosty boys, and it still drops bananas on the ground when you're trying to suck them up. So be careful around this one. And you are rather pathetic uh, <laughs> compared to your other friend here. Gold Ghost Collector, all right. I actually don't know what that means. I don't think I got that in my other playthrough. Get him! Got him. Get him, got him good. Ow! Oh, I thought that banana was inside the vacuum by then. All right. Ooh, money. And we're rich! Rich beyond our wildest dreams. Whoop. Found another ghost. Nope. Ah, no. Ugh. Ow. Oh, that was really dumb. <laughs> All right, let's get this guy. Unfortunately, we let the blue ghost get away. Um, but we'll worry about that later. I do believe that the blue ghost would have had a little bit more money for us. But unfortunately, eh, that didn't exactly work as planned. Oh, yeah. Alright. So with that being said and done, let's go out here and why are you not here? Actually, it's a different toad. Who are you? Where are you? Uh, Luigi? <gasps> Luigi, how lucky that I found you. Or that you found me. I feel so much better now. And that light turned on for no reason. Anyway, I looked for Mario everywhere, and I just can't seem to find him. Where is he? Well, I don't know, but I would like to save my game. But yeah, you'll find a bunch of these toads spread throughout the mansion, and they are your little save points. Now, on to the task at hand. Also, you can uh, vacuum things on the ceiling, such as this chandelier, and sometimes things will pop out. Although I might not be angling the vacuum correctly. Here, there's just nothing there. So. But luckily, we got a key from that other room. And we can take it all the way back to the main entrance. Mario. And yell Mario. But no, we can take it all the way back to this door right here. And we're getting a call from Professor E again. Which, unfortunately, you can't see his face on the bottom screen, but you can see what he says. Hold up a sec, Luigi. It's me, Professor E again. Nah, really. I detect spirits stronger than we've met before, lurking ahead. I think it must be some of those escaped gallery ghosts. You should know that they're really different from the other ghosts that you've seen so far. They don't show their hearts very easily. No, nope, not at all. When you find one, you should use your first, uh, Y to search his heart for clues. Basically use the Game Boy Horror. Sometimes you can learn the best way to surprise him. Well, Luigi, I'll keep my fingers crossed for you. I appreciate that. And you know what? I think we'll tackle this part of the mansion in the next episode. So guys, I hope that you enjoyed this first part of Luigi's Mansion. Um, I'm looking forward to doing the rest of this. This has actually been a lot of fun. I uh, kind of missed doing these little Let's Plays and stuff, and I figured this was a good way to get back into things. And what better time of year to play this wonderful game than, of course, October. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for me today. I will see you next time for more Luigi's Mansion, and like I said, when this video goes live, shortly thereafter, I will be streaming live on my Twitch channel, Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, for basically the first time. It's, it's a semi-blind run, uh, so I kind of know, like, maybe less than half the game, but yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna stop rambling. Thank you so much for your time, and next time... We'll see what lies beyond in the hallway. Take care.